Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a Gerard Richter inspired scraped abstract painting. Okay, that's a lot of, that's a mouthful, I can't say it again. But anyway, today we're going to be doing a scraped painting with acrylic paint. Here's the caveat. Woohoo! So, I wondered how many layers is too many layers in a scraped painting? It got me thinking. You see, the other day I was watching a video of kind of uh, like a gallery shot of, of a lot of Girard's work. And I noticed uh, there was one painting that had like at least like six or seven layers to it because you could see the different colors coming through. So I thought to myself, well, heck, why don't we try to make a multi-layered Girard Richter inspired abstract painting? You see, I've done these scrape paintings for a while now. Now, I've never gone above about three or four layers. So I thought it might be fun to go for a cool dozen. So we're going to go for 12, 12, 12 uh, layers of colors. So we're going to paint, you know, the, the background layer. That'll be, I guess, technically one color. Um, and then we're just going to go crazy. We're just going to keep stacking layers and, and see what happens out of it. Yeah, I'm kind of curious and uh, it'd be a fun experiment for both of us to see what happens. So uh, today the colors we've got are red and brown and purple, blue, like light blue. Uh, we've got red again, just a brighter red. And we've got like a teal slash turquoise. We've got black and white. We've got orange and blue and magenta and yellow. So we're gonna be using all these colors today to make our scrape painting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm gonna move these bad boys aside. Actually, I'm gonna move them on this side because we're gonna scrape uh, from left to right. And we'll probably, maybe we'll scrape down too. Uh, we'll see, we'll, let's, just, let's just go crazy with it. All right, so let's start with this red because this red is actually almost out. So I may as well go ahead and use it. Um, I'm gonna throw in some gloves actually real quick just because with so many layers, it's probably going to get messy. All right, so we got number one glove here and number two glove right over here. Get that bad boy on there. Cool. Golden. Let's do it, baby. All right, so let's throw our red on here. And it doesn't look like a lot, but I think if we spray with a little bit of water, just a little bit, I think we can actually kind of get it to spread out a little bit. So I'm going to throw that one away. It's empty. Spray our surface down a little bit. And let's just, let's go crazy. So let's get this, uh, let's get this bad boy covered with some paint here. And we're going to kind of brush the edges, just make sure we get it at least over the edge, you know, right over the edge. Kinda Get this edge down here. Sounds like the mail is here, actually. Mail time! Which is crazy because it's like 5 o'clock at night and the mail is just coming. Like, it never comes that late. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm guessing maybe they had someone call out. <clears throat> you know, it's always fun when, when a coworker like calls out and then you have to cover their shift and you have to stay late. Sometimes it's frustrating, but you know, sometimes you just got to make that money. So, I mean, I guess it is what it is, you know. It happens to all of us, I think, with all, whoever has a job. It is what it is. Sometimes you carry the weight and sometimes you, you know, other people carry the weight. It's just, that's life, you know. That's just kind of working together in a society, I guess. All right, so we've got this almost spread out i feel like i feel like there's enough here but it wants to dry because it's warm in here so i'm trying to really pull this out cover this edge here now it might not be so bad because you know we're gonna have so many layers of paint you're not even gonna notice but i want that raw canvas to come through cool all right, so we got that covered up. Bad boy is good to go. I think we're good. And a little bit of, a little bit of bare canvas right there. Okay, cool. I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna put that in some water so that bad boy can soak, and we'll move on to our 
Our next, our first uh, first color, first layer. So I'm going to actually pick these colors at random. So I'm going to close my eyes and orange. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on our scraper here. And we're going to, oh, can you guys see that? Okay, you can see it. Good enough. All right. So we're going to put our orange paint on here. We're going to put it back just a little bit so that we can kind of put this to the edge. Um, We'll put it kind of close to the edge. I guess I could probably move it in a little bit, but let's go ahead and put a nice bead of paint on there and run it down. Nice thick bead, and I think we're good there. All right. So we'll go ahead and set orange aside and we'll spread it out here. Just kind of thin it out, kind of give it a little bit of evenness so that when we spread it you know we have uh, some even coverage I actually might push a little bit towards the middle just because I know that the center of the canvas is going to cave in a little bit um, so I already know that's going to happen so we'll go ahead and spread that out and then we will uh, we're going to move our little spray ball here put our stick uh, right there and here we go so we'll go ahead and run right to the edge Right, kind of scrape off the paint. So I just kind of do that to kind of get a lot of the paint off or at least get it to the edge. And then go ahead and I'm gonna pull it through. And I'm gonna put a medium amount of pressure. I'm not like pushing super hard. Um, just pushing hard enough that it kind of latches on to the canvas here. And I'm gonna pull that through. Again, I'm not pushing very hard and you can see that it's kind of starting to fill in this gap here and I'm gonna line that up with that line that up and we're gonna pull that through all right first layer done Looks pretty cool already, but we're not done there. Okay, so now I'm going to close my eyes and pull the next one, and it's yellow. So here we go. Looks like uh, looks like we're making kind of a fire uh, set of layers here, the first few layers. Looks like the stick. Let's get that bad boy out of there. And let's go ahead and put on our next layer. So we'll pour out our yellow here. Nice, even bead. How did this... Really, dude? A piece of grass inside? Uh, happens to me all the time. Okay, we got a nice even uh, bead of yellow. Go ahead and use our same stick here. And we're going to spread that out. And yes, it is going to kind of mix some of that orange in there, but that's okay because, I mean, the orange is already going to get mixed. So not really a big deal. Looks like we got a nice even bead of yellow. A little more than I thought it was, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay, we got it spread out. Let's go ahead and gonna line it up with the end again. And we're gonna pull this next layer through and I'm just gonna kinda try to set it on top of this other layer. All right, now the problem is, is because I didn't push hard enough on the front, it didn't pull it further so that's why it's stacking up on the left side i pushed harder uh further down than i did on the front so that's why the, a lot of the paint is still on the side so just to kind of explain that i didn't push hard enough on the front but it's okay on the next layer we'll go ahead and uh, we'll try to force it to go a little further down so let's go ahead and lighten it up a little bit and use this uh this bright blue and so we actually won't do as much blue because i think from this point on as we stack the layers we're not going to need as much paint um, so I'll just kind of try to make it a little bit even. I think that's probably pretty good. So again, we're going to take our stick and we are going to kind of spread that out just to get a little bit even coverage. Take the paint off the stick there and we will pull that off. And we're going to, this time we're 
I'll, I'm going to lay it almost flat and we're going to pull that squeegee through. Wow, these colors are actually really cool. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to have to remember these colors in the future when I do another one of these because these colors are actually pretty nice together. Okay, well, <laughs> unfortunately, I really like those colors, so I'm going to have to watch this video again afterwards to remember what colors we used for all that because I really like that look. All right, so we're going to pull up some of that. Uh, looks like we got a little clump in there, so we're going to get rid of that. All right, so we've got that, uh, you know, what is that? What layer is that? That's uh, three, right? Because we have red, we have red, orange, yellow, blue, so four. All right, so we'll put those colors away and we'll move on to our next layer. So this time we'll kind of make it a little bit darker. Um, I think we'll move into this magenta and then we'll do like that, that um, turquoise right there. So let's go ahead and put on the magenta. And we're not going to do a whole lot of the magenta. Just kind of a long, thin bead, or a medium bead, I guess. All right. Again, spread it out. And actually, you can tell that this paint's been sitting for a while because it's actually kind of separating as it goes. So that's a little unfortunate. I didn't realize that before I put it on, but it is what it is. We're going to push it to the end, and then we are going to pull it through so we're going to put our scraper all the way down and we're going to put it basically almost touching on the front we're going to pull these colors through and the uh, the scraper is trying to suction I don't know what that was So the the uh, the scraper was suctioning to the canvas, so it pulled a lot of that through. Luckily, we didn't get a lot of that purple color, and I say luckily because that uh, that paint's actually separating, and I think it's just because it's been in the heat for a long time. So I'm actually actually gonna throw it away so it doesn't happen in the future. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm kind of debating on where to go from here. I think what I want to do is I'm gonna move into um, this turquoise actually it's still really vibrant and bright so I'm actually going to tone this down a little bit by adding black to it and then we're going to kind of move into the other colors and kind of cycle through with uh, light to dark so we're going to go ahead and add a nice uh, medium bead of the black here we're going to put that down put that away use our stick spread it out there and here we go so push it to the edge and then just kind of pull it through and now we see these colors starting to mix now the black adding the black to those was definitely <laughs> Definitely not the right thing to do. So what I'm hoping is that we can kind of revive it by adding these other colors. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move into the turquoise here. We're gonna spread that out. So what I'm going to try to do with this one is just kind of set it on top. I'm not going to push too hard on the scraper. I'm just going to kind of float it on top of the other layers and we'll see if we can kind of pull some of these other colors out. So again, I just, I'm not pushing down very hard at all. And it looks like it's kind of setting it on there, which is nice. So we got a little bit of that light color back and I'm actually going to pick up 
the paint that's on the edge here. I'm going to push it over. It's going to pull it into it. Okay, so now that we've got the turquoise, we're going to put that away. Um, and we've got our stick here. Uh, let's go ahead and move into the light blue. And then we're going to do the blue. And then we're going to do the white. And then the purple, red, and the brown uh, last. So, looks like this one is pretty low. Let's see if we can get it to... Fill it out, at least enough for this video. And I think that's pretty good. All right, so now spread that out. I'm going to just try to float it on top. So I'm just going to push, pull this kind of evenly, but not pushing too hard. So it looks like it's like we still have the red because all the paint is kind of building on that side. So we are going to flip it over and we're going to go the other way. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, we did blue, which is almost now. Um, we're going to do white. <coughs> and so let's see if we put it here. Put it a little further up on the scraper here. So let's see if we can get white paint. Oh, I hate when it gets this way. It doesn't want to come, come out of the tube. It's being stubborn. All right, so we'll spread that layer out. And good. Good. All right, so now we'll take that and we'll put it to the edge and we'll pull it across. Applying like a medium pressure. Pulling it through. Okay. Now, these colors are really weird looking, like not something you'd expect, but at the same time, I'm kind of, I kind of like it. Like, I, oh, did I get paint on my shorts? Of course I did. I always do. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting look. Um, all right, so we're going to move on. We're going to keep moving ahead. We're going to finish our painting here, whether we like it or not. So we're going to add our purple. That, I like this purple. It's a nice dark purple. I'm a big fan of that dark purple. Uh, just feel like it's a really solid color. All right, so we're going to spread that out and bring that across. Okay, I'm going to scrape that off, and we will go to the edge, put our paint on, and then bring it back. So again, just applying kind of a medium pressure.
right. Well, we definitely have a lot of distortion going on because of the different layers. At the same time, it I've never really seen it do this before. So it's actually kind of cool. I, I actually kind of like that a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and um, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do the brown first and then the red last. So it's almost like we stacked it, right? So we started with red and we're kind of ending red. So it's almost like a, like a completion thing, right? Like cyclical. I do like some of these lines that are going on on the scraper. That's kind of cool. All right, so we'll add our brown. I'll spread that out here. Actually, we got some on the edge. I'm going to put that up here and right there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put that down. And I'm just going to try to float it across. I'm not going to try to scrape the paint off and make like a like take the paint off the edge or the, the top layer, I should say. I'm just going to kind of float it. I'm not really trying to make a new layer or anything. Okay. All right. So we've got a lot of interesting uh, stuff going on here. All right, so now we're down to our last layer, and let's uh, let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna add a decent amount of red. It's kind of like a finishing thing here. We'll spread it out with our stick here. edge bring it down just to get the paint on there and we're just gonna lightly pull it across I'm really just trying to kind of float that red on there not trying to uh, you know mix these layers or anything I'm just trying to get the red to stay on top So just looking at the painting overall, I'm gonna kind of wipe some of this loose paint off. Um, you know, there's a lot of kind of interesting things that you kind of know. And yeah, it's a lot of big globs of paint. I'm sorry, I just wanna clean these off because they're bothering me. Like that, and that, and that. already starting to stick to the, the table there we go okay all right let me take my gloves off and we'll take a look so looking at the painting um, not bad it's it's very interesting I've never had a piece kind of do that before where it's so distorted uh, what I find really, really interesting though is that you can see all the way down to the bottom layer, right? So you see the red here that's on the top, but then you also see the red right there that's on the bottom. So one thing that I do find interesting about this, uh, this painting is that it is cool in the sense that you actually do see the stacking of layers a lot. And there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of distortion in it. Um, so I mean, it's, it's cool because it, it's almost like it fades away, right? So it's like almost like it stops right here and then this is like a completely different thing going on. So in that sense, I do like it. I do think that that part of it is pretty cool. Um, overall, do I like the painting? No, I don't because there's just too much going on. 
But I suppose if, if someone was into that, like they like it because there's so much going on and there's just so much dynamic, um, you know, there's just, it's, it's a very dynamic painting, right? So it's not something you would look at and just be like, oh, that's pretty. This painting is not pretty. It's very uh, animated. There's a lot going on. And you can see the very bottom layer and the very top layer. So that part is cool. And again, I do like the, I like the, the balance of the color, like the under kind of layer here. I like the fact that it's broken up so it looks like it, it like it distorts or, or it's like it's faded. And then I even like that there is kind of a, like a separation even at the end. So the, the color swirls or whatever, the layers of the different kind of colors. That's cool. So I like the piece. There's, there's parts about it that I like, but overall, I, I mean, I don't like the piece, but maybe somebody else would. It is It was kind of an interesting experiment. I honestly think that this is way too many layers for a painting. However, you know, maybe somebody would find this fascinating and it, and it would be very cool to them. So who's to say? Everybody's taste is different, but um, that's it. I just wanted to kind of experiment here. And uh, I think that the painting we had with the, the four colors, where it was like the orange, the blue, the yellow and the red. I think I'm gonna do that again with just those colors because that one actually turned out pretty cool. But anyways, guys, appreciate you kind of watching this and then going along with me to kind of experiment. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And that's it. Bye, guys.